Hey everybody. Good morning. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> what else is new, right? I hope you're having a good morning. I am on, it's summertime, so I'm drinking some uh, cold brew with some half and half. I need to figure out a lower calorie, less fat creamer. Um, but until then, it's just a splash. <laughs> I don't know how you take your coffee, um, but I take mine with some cream. I'm getting my camera here ready to go, but I want to make sure nobody's going to call or text or message me while we're on. So, if you'll grant me a minute here. I didn't know if I should take the time to figure this out or come on since I was already seven minutes late. It's like every time I do this, I have to retrain myself. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're good. I have so much stuff here on my desk. I have my yogurt for breakfast. I'm just not ready to eat this early in the morning. I tried. I know breakfast is good to get your metabolism going, but oh, I just can't eat this early in the morning. I tried. Oops, what happened? Oh, see the mess? Let's go back to this and I'll get it all straight. <laughs> There we go. Um, we're going to make a fun card today using uh, the sketch. Has anybody been getting my emails? Let me know in the comments if you are getting my emails every Tuesday with the free tutorial. I didn't print the tutorial out. Hey, Stephanie. She's heading to a friend's to craft. Oh, thank you. What a fun time. Go crafting. I think I'm going to clean my office after I get done here. That doesn't sound very fun. Stephanie got the email. Good. If you don't, um, if you're not getting my emails, you can go to my blog, uh, theplypoodle.com, and there's a little spot to sign up. I'll turn this around now. It looks a little bit better. There we go. This was the first week's, and these are the cards we created, or I made. What the what? My camera just went wonky. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. What is happening? There we go. Woo! That's weird. It seems like every day, I, oops, it has to go this way. It doesn't matter how I had it last time. <laughs> this time I have to change it. There we go. I don't want to spill my coffee all over everything. Anyway, <laughs> these were the cards we made using this sketch. I didn't really do the sunburst, but I did kind of replaced it with the bird and the sunburst here. And then this one, I used two ladybugs, and instead of the sunburst, I used the leaves. But it was a good jumping off point, and it gave me the measurements for all my layers. So that was week one. Last week, we did this one, and I think this was the card that I came up from this sketch. Um, and I believe we had someone share their... their um, Betty Holton shared her card that she made following this sketch. So thank you, Betty, if you're watching or if you're going to watch later. Um, you guys are welcome to share on my page. Or if you're on Instagram, go ahead and do hashtag plaid poodle sketches. And let us see what you're doing with the sketches. Okay, today's sketch is kind of a little fun fold. And I already discovered a mistake. So as soon as I get off here, I will change everything. So if it, I'm sorry if you've already downloaded the sketch, but you could just cross this out and change the measurement to three-fourths times three and a half. 
um, two and a half would leave you a shorter label, but that's the only mistake. Um, and I whipped this card up pretty quick this morning. Here's the card that went out in my email or that's on my blog right now following this sketch. Instead of a flower, I used um, a little butterfly um, die cut from the, um, I think it's Best Butterflies bundle. It's really cute, real kind of trendy um, little stamp set. And I used the sentiment from that. And all that information is over on my blog. And then I did um, emboss this layer. So these are just jumping off points. I loved it this morning when I was making my card that we're going to make today because I had all my measurements already. And that, that's how I figured out the tag was wrong because it didn't fit right. <laughs> um, but this is the card we're going to make today. Um, because I just got this set in uh, last yesterday my shipment for my pre-order Christmas pre-order came in and I ordered this because the the dies were such a great deal and I was gonna see if I can sh tell you if I can find them here and I'm I did not check before I uh, came on but the dies for this um, Rainbow of Happiness are deeply discounted. So I bought the dies separate and the stamp set separate. If you buy them together, you get a 10% discount. Um, but it's you get a better deal if uh, you buy them separate because they're being discontinued and they discounted the dies. So um, I apologize if they're no longer available, but it was it was a good deal, and I wanted this set, so I went ahead and ordered it. I wish they would have kept this set too, Stephanie. I just sometimes I just wonder what 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 decides what we're going to keep and give away. Um, here's another card, kind of using this sketch. It's very much like the sketch. There's a flower in the corner and then some die cutting there. I made this card at a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator event last month. So to get started on this fun fold, I guess it's a fun fold. It's really a traditional fold, but you, you've uh, got a shorter card base. So seven and a fourth by five and a half, and then score it at three. <laughs> Stephanie would love to be a fly on the wall during those meetings. I would too. I would too. And the butterflies, yeah, I wasn't going to get those butterflies either, but they're just so cute and whimsical. So um, I had to I had to do it. Okay, and then the next layer, according to our uh, sketch, is the designer series paper. And like I said, this is just a jumping off point. You can use cardstock. You can use whatever. You can leave it off if you um, want to. But this one measures two and a half by four. And then I'm going to stack a piece of sweet sorbet. That's my red. A piece of basic white. And then I pulled a blue in here because you need a blue sky for the rainbow. Um, and I pulled the um, Coastal Cabana. Oops. The Whisper White measures two and a fourth by three and three fourths. And this one measures. Um, when I made the um, sketch template, I think I covered up this measurement with my tag, but it measures two by three and a half, and it's down here in the um, tips to get you started. Sometimes when I'm working with these on the computer, it gets a little hairy.
Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this to the card front using just adhesive. We're just going to um, adhere one edge because the one edge is going to hang over the front. Just kind of in the middle there. Now to make my um, rainbow, I cut out a circle with the layering circles dies. I believe it was this one. Or if you have a punch, a circle punch, that would work too, but I needed something to adhere my little rainbows on. <laughs> And then I use this die from the the, um, the dies. Do, 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 do. This one right here. And I cut it out in four colors. Now I don't need all of these rings, but I can make other um, rainbows. I can make several actually, just not in the same order, right? So I can make four rainbows out of this. But I wanted to use, I used the, um, this is the new color. What is this new color? Do, 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 do. Orchid Oasis. And the paper I used was the 2022 um, in color designer series paper, six by six. I love this paper. I love the new in colors. No, Stephanie, this is not the dark one. This is the lighter one, the Orchid Oasis. The, the um, Starry Sky I thought about, it's just a tad darker. It would have worked well. Well, it's hard to see here on the camera. Okay, and then the next ring I used was the Sweet Sorbet. And then I threw in some Mango Melody. And then the final ring was the Parakeet Party. And we can get rid of all these other rings, but we can use these to make three more rainbows. We just, the, the colors will just be in a different order. I don't know if that's a faux pas or not. You know rainbows mean a promise. So I promise you make me happy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to use a little liquid glue. No faux pas. Probably my granddaughters would tell me, no, they have to go in this order. You know, they're all about unicorns and rainbows. So, And the reason I use the circle um, to adhere this to is just, it was the right size because I could have used one of these and, you know, and then just put my different colors right in there and just used a, a triangle, but I decided to do it this way. You have two experts, too. <laughs> yeah. How old are your grandchildren, Stephanie? We have another one on the way at the end of the month, end of July. 
Okay, so I'm going to adhere my little rainbow down here at the bottom of the um, front panel. I'm going to let that little um, orchid oasis ring kind of overhang a little bit. And then I'm going to take some Coastal Cabana and just kind of sponge the edges of these little clouds. And these are, I cut these clouds out with the cloud dies from the, um, the rainbow dies. And like I said, if you're interested, go check it out because they are deeply discounted. And that's what talked me into getting this set. <laughs> but order your dies separate from the stamp set. If you order it as a bundle, you don't get the, the, the big discount. And if you'd want to place an order with me, go to leslie.stampinup.net any, any time or message me and we can get that taken care of. Stephanie has a 14-year-old boy, 7 and 9-year-old girls. Going to see them all next week. Oh, you're going to Colorado. First time in six years you've been all together. I, that is going to be amazing. I'm jealous for you. You know, my kiddos just moved away, about five hours away. And I just know it's going to be hard to get everyone together in one place <laughs> um, very often. So enjoy your family. Okay, I'm using mini dimensionals, mini stampin' dimensionals to put these clouds on here. Thank you, Susan. Um, if you came on late, I don't know how long you've been here. Um, this measurement is wrong. This should be three fourths by three and a half. But it depends on what sentiment you're using. Like this one is not three quarters. I cut it down to a half inch because I used a different um, stamp. This one had, you know, pretty big stamp, um, pretty big sentiment. So this one's three fourths by three and a half, and then I flagged the end. But this one I cut down. So, you know, sketches, you just kind of. Um, use them as um, a jumping off point. If you make anything using these sketches, please post them on the page here. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. I know everybody would. Share and share alike. Okay, now the strip, like I said, the this one's three quarters by two and three and a half really if you did it right. I'm going to go change that. So if you've already downloaded the PDF, I apologize. <laughs> I just found that out this morning. I didn't measure twice as they say. Oh, you posted. Okay, good, good. I'll go look. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, I'm using the Orchid Oasis ink. That kind of ties in with our top little um, rainbow ring. And I just have a strip, half inch strip of basic white here that I'm gonna stamp that on. And then I'm just going to eyeball this, decide where I need my little flag to be. Get that a little, a little straighter. 
I have a hard time cutting straight. Oh, yes, the ladybug would be perfect. All right, I'm going to adhere that on there. I'm going to put a little adhesive over here and then a couple of the mini dimensionals over here because this is kind of popped up. See how I did that one? It's just a little popped up because of all the layers. And then we're going to put that on there. And then I took the little um, heart image from the, the set, Rainbow of Happiness. Again with our Orchid Oasis. It just needed something. This one I embossed, the one that was on the um, email, I embossed to give it a little something, something. You could also put some little uh, gems or, but I thought these hearts would work perfectly. And I used the Orchid Oasis again for that. I'm glad you caught us live too. Um, head to your friends and have fun crafting. It sounds like a fun day. I wish I was there. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Let's see. I missed your comment. Let's see. We live in Texas and one sit lives in Jacksonville and the others live in Washington. So hard to get everyone together. Yep. You guys are like a triangle. A little bit. Like a one of those... I don't know what you call it. I didn't do well in geometry, but what are those? Is it called an isosceles? Um, oh, your 23-year-old and her friend came over to, last night to make Father's Day cards. I almost did Father's Day card this morning because I'm needing one. So I thought I really should do a Father's Day card, but I will do one probably later today and then I'll post it on the, the page. Oh, I forgot. Then take your uh, four by five and a fourth piece of basic white for your insert and then you can stamp whatever you want on the inside or write a greeting in there so that's the card for today um thanks for joining me so much um we will talk to you monday um, at 2 p.m for make it monday and if you make a card following the sketch please share it with us see you later have a great day